Hi. I can't sleep. Take a pill. What time is it? It hurts. Oh, what are you eating? Right back here. You got pills for that. You got pills for everything. Why do you have to sleep in here? Huh? Because you keep throwing me out. Oh. You want me to rub your back? Huh? happened to me would you get married again stop it I wonder if anyone ever died in this house never this house is full of life babies to be born books to be written how many Nick you give me the babies and I'll give you the books I'll try to keep up with you Oh, I wish I could lie on my stomach. Does that hurt? No, it's good. I come on along with that uh, switchboard, whatever you call it. Structural differential. Yeah. What if I have in the Dianetics and all that other nonsense? This is not nonsense. That's why you need semantics. Helps you learn about the true meanings of things. Help you to become a better writer. They don't make them better than Nicholas Rocco. <laughs> Look. The fact... The fact that a man knows a large number of words is no guarantee that he understands them. Ice cream, for instance, can't be truly defined till you actually eat a dish of ice cream. Passion is a meaningless word to someone who has never felt it. You can define tolerance forever, but it will have no meaning unless you've experienced six feet. <sighs> How are you this morning? Dragon, Mr. Rocco. Barely dragon. Makes me tired just thinking about this big house. Well, instead of coming twice a week, why don't you come and live with us? Emily needs you. Mr. Rocco, <clears throat> expectant mothers should feather the nest. That's natural. But that wife of yours is going to knock the nest clean out of the tree with all this crazy cleaning and polishing and washing. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> Tuesdays and Fridays is all I can take. Gives me time to build up my strength. 
Well, be patient with it, DJ. Before long, things will be normal around here again. I shall try. Mr. Rocco, I love that girl, but I ain't gonna let her kill me. Okay, Delia. Emily? Where are you? Emily! Hi, John. So long, Nick. Nora? Hi, Nick. Have you seen Emily? Yeah, I think she's out in the back alley. Oh, thanks. What's the big idea? What are you doing now? Working for the city? Look at this alley. Look at it. <laughs> What's wrong with this alley? You want your child to be born in filth? Our child isn't going to be born in this alley. Mm. Given half a chance, he'll turn up in a nice, clean hospital. Oh, ho, oh, oh. You know, he's going to be awfully disappointed when he finds out his mother is a street cleaner. Just look at yourself. Shame on you. A pregnant woman grubbing around in garbage cans. But we pay our taxes. Why don't they clean the alley? It's a nice, clean, wholesome... Now, Emily. Now, do what I tell you and get in the house. <sighs> now, drop it. Drop it. <sighs> Emily. Honey. Relax, sweetheart. I know how you feel about cleanliness. And it's beautiful. But we need the dust and the dirt, too. It's what we're made of. We're not made of broken gin bottles and, and beer cans and soggy tea bags. I know. I, I like clean I dirt, Nick. It's the dirty dirt I hate. Yes, we are. I never used to be like this. But now it just seems as if the whole world is full of it, and I have to sweep it away. Mm, I know, sweetheart. I know. Oh, Nick, it takes so long to have a baby. Just centuries and centuries. No, darling, no. I've been going half crazy for weeks. When I think of you being slender, Egan, I... I almost pass out. My poor paisano. Go back to the office and write about it. I will, honey. Go on. It's coming out of me like a blowtorch. Go on. Go on. Don't you ever dare do that again! What? What did I do? You know very well what you did, and I don't like it. And I want you never to do it again! Having trouble, Nick? Huh? No, no. No trouble. You know what they say, a woman in confinement? said something hilarious. She was laughing so hard she couldn't even stand up. She had to hold on to you. 
We just said two words. What two words? We just talked for a minute, that's all. I should think she'd have more sense of propriety. Doesn't she know you're going to have a baby? Oh, Emily, Nora Gregory's our neighbor. I thought you two were such good friends. Oh, we are. I love her. I really love her. How can you stand me? I can't even stand myself. Oh, honey. I wasn't always like this before, was I? Of course not. You never had a baby before, either. I love you. I gotta go to work, honey. I hope it's a boy. That doesn't matter, whatever it is. Oh, I hate girls. They're all right when they're little. They grow up to be treacherous. See you later, huh? See you later. Okay. Honey? Now, what time is it? Well, it's time to eat. How about eggs? Oh, fine. Scrambled. You got a minute, honey? I want to try this out on you. Sure. Now, this is where he goes out into the desert and looks for Camilla. Remember? Go ahead. I'm listening. I walked out a quarter of a mile to the top of the ridge. It was so cold, I pulled my coat around my throat. Under my feet, the earth was a churning of coarse, dark sand and little stones. A basin of some prehistoric sea. Beyond the ridge were other ridges like it. Hundreds of them stretching infinitely away. Just a second, honey. Mr. Fabian, it's Mrs. Rocco. I'm sorry I forgot the eggs again. The big ones. A dozen. Thank you. Go ahead, dear. You could die, but the desert would hide the secret of your death. It would remain after you to cover your memory with ageless wind and heat and cold. There was Rocco, no are you sure you want three coats of wax on that staircase? Shh. It was no use. How could I search for her? The hills had her now. Let these hills hide her. Let her live with the stones and sky. And with the wind blowing her hair to the end. Oh! Let her go that way. <laughs> to speak to you. It's very urgent. Oh, tell him to wait. Hold on, please. All right. Hello, Dr. Atchison. I just had a fall. A fall! And I'd like you to come out right away, please. Right away. I don't know, doctor. I just can't say. Thank you. Honey, you better go lie down. All right, Emily, you can relax now. You know, that's a very frisky child. <laughs> Probably enjoyed the fall. Thank the Lord. What do you mean you can't do anything about oh, it? Oh, you'd be amazed. Listen, mister, I got an official signed document stating this house was clear of termites and clear of dry rot. And it's signed by J.W. Schmidt. Now, you put that pirate on the phone right now. What do you mean he's dead? How can he possibly be dead? I just saw him six months ago. 
All right, I'm sorry to hear about it. Just a minute. He's fine. Nothing to worry about. I'll call you later. Thank you, Doc. All right, so he's dead. Now, now, who do I talk to? You mean, well, there must be somebody. All right, all right. We'll see about that. Doctor says you're fine. I know. You know that fellow Schmidt? The termite inspector? I know, I heard. It's too bad. It certainly is. I don't want to show any disrespect for the dead. But I sure hope they keep that guy in purgatory for a while. 60 days at least. How can a man do that? Cheat, misrepresent, and then die without being punished. <laughs> Take it easy, Annie. It could be a lot worse. Yeah, I guess you're right. I should thank God that you weren't hurt. Or the baby. My poor neck. No wonder you lose your patience. I'm such a burden to you. What burden? <laughs> How can you be a burden? That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. Look at me. I'm a cow. That's what I am, a big, fat cow. Oh, you stop it. Nobody loves a pregnant woman, Nick. I see it everywhere I go. In the streets, in the stores, people stare. It's awful. It's your imagination. It is not. You know that butcher, that nice one, who used to give me all the best cuts of meat? Hmm. He never even looks at me anymore. Well, is that important? It's very important. I'll punch him in the nose. Oh, Nick, I don't deserve you. Emily. Yes? I better call a couple of contractors and get some bids on that floor. Good idea. Good, forget it. I'll do the job for you for twelve hundred dollars. That's the best figure yet, but we still can't afford it. Will you folks think it over? Thank you. Your father wouldn't charge twelve hundred. Well, of course not. He'd do it for nothing. But, but Jiminy Crickets, baby. Jiminy Crickets. Oh, you don't want him around here, honey. Besides, he wouldn't come anyway. How do you know? Write and find out. Oh boy, if he knew we bought a stucco house. He's a stonemason. They hate stucco. I just don't understand it. Are you telling me that stonemasons feel that carpentry work is beneath them? I didn't say that. Well, what did you say? I told you, he hates he stucco hates houses. He hates stucco houses, yeah. Look, I, he's been very peaceful lately. I just don't want to stir him up. Yeah, well, I suppose we could get a second mortgage on the house. He's got to have his way about everything. If you take that old bull out of the Sacramento Valley, anything can happen. He wouldn't do it anyway. Of course he'd do it. Your father loves you, Nick. Oh, he loves me, all right. I just don't think he likes me. Oh. Well, we'll get a second mortgage on the house. Well, anyway, it wouldn't do any good to write to him. I'd get one of those letters of his. I'd have to go up there and talk to him. All right, I'll go with you. I'll call the airport. I think we ought to take the afternoon flight because it gives us more time to pack, don't you?
something. Hello, Mr. Rocco. Hold on. Thank you. It's for you, Papa. What do you want? I read. Dear friend, if someone would tell you you can have a brand new piano in your house for only one dollar a week, what would you do about it? Tell him to shut up. Coletta? Yes, Papa. Get Fernandine. I know, Papa. It's foolish. Fernandine, no. Yes, Papa. You want some wine? Ah. It ain't the sweetest the old batch, Philomena. Oh. <laughs> A letter to Jim Rocco, Nick Rocco, Dino Rocco, and Tony Rocco. <laughs> Write it plain, just like I tell you. I don't change a word. Ready? Yes, Papa. Dear sons. Your mother is fine. I am fine, too. We don't need you boys anymore. So have a good time, laugh and play, and forget all about your father, but not your mother. Don't worry about your father. He's your mother. Think about her sometimes. Makes no difference about your father. He never needed your help. But your mother get lonesome. So have a good time, laugh and play. Just sign it. Yours truly, Vittorio Rocco. Send it her mail. Now, Papa. I don't know how you say how I feel. Maybe we just shake hands. Hey, look, I contributed too, you know. Take the suitcases, kid. Go and tell your mother you're at home. You look wonderful. Got a little thinner, huh? <laughs> no, make a joke. I am very fat. <laughs> Papa, don't you think you ought to warn her? She might. So? Let her. What else has she got to leave her for? I am so happy to see you. Hello, Mama. Nick. Oh, Nicky. Emily. Papa. Help. Please. Nick, get some water. She'll be all right. Mama? Mama, please. Nick! Yeah, here. Yeah. Help me get her up. Yeah. Mama, everything's all right. We all here. We all love you, Mama. It'll be all right. Mama. In, in my prayers, I ask for only one of thing. A few months more so I can see my grandchild. Sure, Mama, you will. You will, Mama. It's Papa I worry about. He's going to be all alone. No one to wash his overalls. They're hard to wash. Emma. So come overnight. All right, Coletta. That's enough. Papa! Come to quit, Mama. Get up now. Fix the dinner. No! Oh, Mama! I'm, I'm better now. Much better. Where's 
Where's she going? Kill a chicken. You like chicken cacciatore? No, 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 no. Don't drink that. I get some wine. I'll be right back, huh? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no, no. To my grandson, e alla salute di... Wait a minute. What yeah. if it's a girl? No, this one is a boy. Why? Mm, I already got five of them daughters. Papa is right. Just the chances are 50 50. No, no, boy, boy, and a boy. Papa and I, this we take care of it. Here, here. This is for you, Emily, and for you, Nick. Thank you. Garlic. What's it for? It makes a boy. An old Italian superstition. <laughs> then how come you got five granddaughters? Because your brothers don't listen to my advice. <laughs> no garlic, no boys. Oh, that's such a girl. What do you do with it, Papa? Wear it all the time. And smell like a salad. Put it in your pocket. Papa, that's a lot of malarkey. Watch your language. What did I say? <laughs> don't use that word in my house. Papa, that's not mm, bad. Word. I don't trust these writers. Come on, Miss Emily. Mama, clean up everything out right away. Help Mama. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Nick, come you with go me. with the Papa, too. You stay here and help your mother. Come on, Miss Emily. You see him? Yes. That's my Uncle Mingo. How can you stand it, Mama? How can you stand living with a man like that? It's easy now. But the first 35 years, they were very hard. Hmm. <laughs> Papa, what's that smell? Many things. The vineyards, the American River, the lemon groves, paradise. You come. Well, Miss Emily, Nick make money. He write good. He writes huh. very good. Papa, you should be very proud of Nick. I don't understand him. We don't talk too much. He don't need me anymore. <laughs> oh, he no. don't need you. Huh? You'd be surprised how much he needs you. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. And aside from that, Papa, mm. he loves you. It's just that you don't get along because you're too much alike. Both strong-willed. Well, I have the impression he don't like me at all. Hmm. Papa, it's not true. He treats you well? He treats me very well. Well, if you tell me that, that's all right. Come on. I was reading it to her, and then I, then I heard this crash. And there she was, down through that rotten floor with the termites. Did you call the doctor? Sure, right away. She was fine. No complications. Except my bank account. Do you know what it's going to cost to fix that floor? $1,200. That's why we flew up here. We need Papa. I can't afford 1200 bucks right now. You don't need the Papa. You tell the owner. It's his house he has to fix. Mama, it's my house. I'm the owner. I made some money on my last book with a baby coming. We bought this fine old house. You should see it. It's a wonderful place. Three bedrooms, beautiful yard, big living room. And a hole in the kitchen floor. Oh, povera figlia mia. Mama, do me a favor, will you? I know. You want me to tell him, huh? Yeah, would you? You boys. If only you would write more often. Yeah, Mama. So many things we don't know. Yeah, Mama. When you're sick. When you get a new car, a new house. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you get a job. Maybe you lose a job. It makes no difference. If only you write it in a letter. Oh, I'll write, Mama. I promise I write once a week. Get me squared away with Papa, though, huh? Papa's gonna get drunk tonight. Oh, Mama. Here she is. My dream. It's beautiful, Papa. Everything grows here. You plant a broomstick, she grows. <laughs> You'd love to own this land, wouldn't you? <laughs> Not for me. For you, for Nick, for the little boy. Me and Mama down the road. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> I build a stone house. Stand up a thousand years. Tile roof, fireplace in every room. I do it. Vittorio Rocco. Stone cutter, lumber, carpenter, everything. <laughs> Papa, we can't. Uh, I mean, we already. I mean, um, we, we can't. Money. I already made $50 deposit with John Muto. Oh, no. oh, yes, John Muto is my paisano. He don't sell to nobody but me. Papa, you shouldn't have done it. I mean, uh, we just couldn't. 
Why not? Well, because. Because? Because it's a big step. It takes a lot of time to make such a oh, change. No. I am an old man. You're not old. <laughs> you are right. With you, I'm young and proud. I'm glad, well, many years ago, when uh, I was young, I am thin, uh, yes, very big, but I lost. Have a nice walk, Papa. Yeah, fine, fine. Nick, would you come in the house a minute, please? Hey, kid, I want to talk to you. Later, Papa. Hey, kid, uh, wait a minute. One at a time, Papa. Wait a minute. What is it now? Nick and Emily are in trouble. In trouble for what? It's just terrible. It's not fair. That poor old man thinks we're here because of some kind of homecoming. If you're going to tell him about the hole on the floor, you tell him. Otherwise, let's get a second mortgage on the house and fix the hole ourselves. Oh, honey, relax. You don't know this operation. It requires great tact, diplomacy. Diplomacy, my foot. It takes honesty. Now, just do it. Of course it takes honesty. It's being done. The machinery's in motion. What machinery? Mama's telling him the whole thing right now. Your mother? Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're hiding behind your mother's apron. It's not a bad place to hide, honey. You know my brother Dino? They don't come any tougher. Six months ago, he stepped from behind Mama's apron and whack! The old man stretched him out all over the kitchen floor. Oh, a fine husband, you yellow belly. So I'm yellow. Senza dirmi niente. Ti voglio dare una lezione che non dimenticherà per tutta la vita. You buy the house, and you don't tell your papa? I meant to tell you, papa. Stocko house? Well? Stocko. See what I mean? Do you think we ought to go after him? It's past 11. Uh, only antagonize him. Where could he be at this hour? Sacramento, the Cafe Napoli. Probably talking it up with one of his paisanos. Mama. Yes. How much money's Papa got with him? I see. Why still ten cents at the Cafe Napoli, Mama? Ha! They raise the price. Fifteen cents now. Ha! But your Papa won't drink wine tonight. Whiskey, Mama. He doesn't like whiskey. Tonight, brandy. Brandy still thirty cents a day, Ma. Thirty-five. Seven dollars eighty-four cents. He took everything, even the pennies. Carry the eight. What are you mumbling about? Well, according to my figures, Papa should be home on the midnight bus. That's right. He said he'd build a fireplace in every room. Yeah, he's crazy about fireplaces. He's built hundreds of them. I like it here. It's good for children. No smog, no traffic. It's so quiet. Now, this would be a wonderful place to write. Are you kidding with him around all the time? Why do you always talk as if your father's some kind of a monster? He's sweet, he's warm. Yeah, he's, he's a sweet, warm monster. <laughs> You're terrible. Yeah, I know. No, you really are terrible. Oh, come on, honey. How would you like it if when your child grew up, he felt towards you like you feel towards your father? Don't worry, he won't. I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Look, honey, my kid can leave home any time he wants. We don't own him, remember that. It's inevitable. You've got to expect it. One of these days, he's just going to pick up and go. He's not even here yet. Oh, honey, what I mean is, if we make it easy for him to go, maybe he'll want to come back once in a while. Emily? Yes, Mama? Can you come here a minute? Sure. Help me up. Uh. Don't let me sit there again. Yes, Mama? I want to show you something. Huh? Oh. My wedding dress, huh? Oh. Forty years old, you like? Beautiful. Look at that lace. Huh? This is all hand stitched. See? Did you make it? No, my, my sister, my aunt, everybody helped, you know? Oh, it must have been beautiful on you. On me? <laughs> Look. Look. Huh? <laughs> Look at that waist. Well, you know, I wasn't there. Uh, it's <laughs> lovely, Mama. No, I want you to have it. You fix any way you want. <laughs> what for? What for? Well, I mean, you ought to give it to one of your granddaughters, or Carla, maybe, when she gets married. Carla? Who knows when Carla gets married? Oh, no, no, no. You something special, huh? You keep it. But, Mama, I won't ever wear it. Oh, yes, you wear it. You wear it when you get married. When I get married? Huh. I am married. I'm married to your son, remember? Las Vegas don't count. No, 
Oh, no. What do you mean, Las Vegas don't count? It better count. I got married by a justice of the peace. I had five witnesses. I know, I know. But do you have to have a religious ceremony, a church wedding? If you don't, trouble comes. The roof leaks, the, the kitchen floor falls down. Are you trying to tell me that all these years you thought Nick and I were living in... Sin? No. How you live is your own business. You are a good girl. You wouldn't commit a sin. That's why you must get married in the church. But, Mama, I'm not a Catholic. That's true, Mama, what but what difference you... does it make? Emily and I are married, and we're going to stay that way. Right, honey? I hope so. I've always sort of taken it for granted you were my husband. I know, I, I know, but... but... Oh, Joe Muta struck. Baby, bring Papa. What do you say, Joe? Are you looking for your papa? Yeah, where is he? Come on, I'll show you. I tried to get him, mama, but he tells me, mind your own business. Oh, let's go get him, honey. Okay. You coming, mama? No, no, you go. He listened to you. Maybe. Where is he? Over there, under the tree. You want me to wait? Yeah, wait for me. Io che sono stato della massima realtà. Io non vorrei avere il mio gran bambino. Io non sono vecchio come si credono. E noi abbiamo da passare ancora molti anni insieme a bambino. No, 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 no. Il tempo può separarti da noi. Hello, Papa. How are you? Oh, via. Io non voglio parlare con te. Siamo come due stranieri e lo saremo sempre. Ma così è la vita. Si fa male senza, senza saperlo. No, va via, ragazzo, via. Mi dispiace molto, Papa. Go away. Go. Go on. Talk to him. Hello, Papa. Emily, these stormites, they got no business in your house. Well, that's how termites are. Just like the airplanes they scared Papa. Now, don't you worry about Papa. Papa's coming. All right, give your chat on, kid. Carl, I'm glad you're going to stay with Mama. Oh, it'll be nice for me, too, Emily. I haven't had a vacation from that hospital in Why two years. Why the overalls? What's wrong with them? Well, haven't you got pants with this jacket? I don't like them. He's just stubborn. He doesn't want to look nice and clean on the train. I am clean. Mama just wash and press everything I got home. What are you sitting there for? Because in front of no ever room. No, but you might fall off. Uh, Let me sit there. No, no, shut up. All right, fall off. Oh. Ciao, papa. Oh. Mama. Take care of mama. Don't you worry. Bye -bye, make me right to you the minute we get there. Thank you, darling. Goodbye. Goodbye. Emily, Goodbye. you let us know Goodbye, as soon as it happens now. Of course. And don't worry about look, our supper. The food is very good on the Stay close train. to mama because she Oh, might. I know what you mean. <laughs> don't worry. I'll take care of her. Okay, good. Come on, honey. Ciao, boy. No, don't forget. Huh? I take care of everything. Drink a little wine and go to bed early. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> there she goes. What's the matter, honey? Your child just kicked me. Tickets, please. Is there another berth available? I was only able to get two out of Sacramento. Sorry, sir, this train is booked to capacity. You just have to sit up in the men's smoker. 
Do you have to me again? What do you want now, Pop? Ah, we shall see. <laughs> Mama, we have something. <laughs> you see what Mama fixed? <laughs> Tomatoes, everything. <laughs> That salami. <laughs> Miss Emily. No, no, not just now, Papa. Papa, no. take that jug in the men's room, will you? Every, everybody's watching. Everybody. Oh. <laughs> Please, a little wine. <laughs> thank you, no. Good for your heart, for your blood. Not just now, thank you. <laughs> huh? Now, let's hide this bomb. Will you please stop picking on your father? You've done nothing but persecute him ever since we left Sacramento. But, honey, I don't mean to. Papa, if you want to drink wine, that's your own private business. Nobody's going to stop you. I don't mean to cause no trouble. My own son. Oh, Papa, bah. don't take it so hard. They shame it over their own flesh and blood. Don't be depressed, Papa. Have a little wine. It'll make you feel better. Oh, good. Dinner time, Papa. Let's all go back and have a nice big steak, Emily. Are you hungry? No. You go with the kid, Miss Emily. I eat the bread and cheese. I try to sell you a little money. Oh, cut it out, will you, Papa? A little hot food will do you good. Come on, Emily. You go. I'm staying with Papa. Okay, then. As far as I'm concerned, you both can stay here and starve. Oh, oh, excuse me. I beg your pardon. Is the dining car up this way? Yeah, straight ahead. Thank you. Sleep here. Papa, there's a burst waiting for you. Come on. No, no, I am too fat to get. The bed is she's a too thin. Too fat with wine. Come on. Oh, well, come on. <laughs> All right. Porter. Yes, sir. Get the old boy a blanket. Just sleep here tonight. Thank you. Well, just as you say, sir. Well, of course I didn't. Why didn't you? Because I love my wife. Good night. I'm not a wife. I'm not a mother. I'm nothing. I'm suspended. That's what I am. I'm suspended. Honey. I was dying to have a baby. I thought it was a wonderful idea. Sure, you decide to have a baby, you wake up the next morning, you're a mother. But it doesn't work like that. It takes so long, you don't even remember what made it seem like a good idea in the first place. You should have had dinner with her. If I know you felt that way about it, I would have. Now go to sleep. What sleep? I can't sleep in this thing. I'm gonna sit up. I'm gonna read. Is there a seat out there someplace? No, but it's comfortable in here, though. Oh, you? no, it isn't. I'd be much more comfortable sitting up. I'll find a seat someplace. You sleep here. Well, I'm sleeping in the upper. Where's Papa? He's in the men's room. He says this is too small. Good. That's where I go. To the ladies' room. The ladies' room? Sure. Honey, I wish you'd change your mind. Shh. Honestly, I'll be much more comfortable in the ladies' room. Good night. Shh. Good night. Porter. 
Yes, sir. I took care of the old gentleman. He's all right now, sir. Oh, fine, thanks. Would you close this up? It's pretty stuffy in there. Well, where's the lady going to sleep? In the ladies' room. In the ladies' room? Yeah. Uh, my bag's down there? Yes, sir. They're up front, sir. Thank you. Boy. They're exhausted. The poor woman. He made her spend all night in the ladies' room. The old guy had to set up in the men's smoker. Conductor, are we on time? Yes, 20 minutes to Glendale. Come on. Sleep well? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. You live near the city, don't? No, Papa, that's smart. No good than trees. No shade, no fruit, nothing. Devil grass. No good this country. <clears throat> na, 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 na. Something wrong, Papa? Talk it. Papa, the damage is in the kitchen. Talk it. Talk it. Piece of pipe. <laughs> wrong pipe. Papa, the trouble is in the kitchen. The pipe is in the tool kit. Three hinges. Papa, the kitchen is this way. Oh. Take him up. That's enough. Pretty bad, huh, Papa? I ever tell you the story of my Uncle Mingo and the bandits? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, lots of times, Papa. Uh, Papa, are you gonna need the help around this job? Great man, Uncle Mingo, right? Hell, oh, big feet. They hang him in Abruzzo. Yeah, yeah, it's a great story, Papa. Look. Look how rotten this wood is. Uh, I'm tired from the train. <sighs> I sleep now. Sure, Papa. We both had a rough night, huh? Oh, yeah. Suit the case. You want a fresh one, Grandpa? Hot country, ma'am. Drives you out. Yes, indeed. That's the last one, Miss Rocco. Better order it by the case. <laughs> Hi. Hi. He hasn't started yet, huh? Well, he wants to consider it. Consider it? He's been here a week. Just fixed the floor. He's full of ideas. That isn't all he's full of, either. You going someplace? Shopping. I need the car. Well, help yourself. 
What's that? It's an old Italian custom. Is that good for the baby? Of course it is. Grandma Rocco drank it all the time. And she had 12 of them. Consider it. Want me to fix you something to eat, Mr. Rocco? No, thanks, Delia. Is uh, he out there? Yeah, he's out in the back. Well, Papa, what do you think? Miss Hamilton say you're a pretty good writer, boy. Papa, when are you going to start on the floor? Typewriter machine. I talk, you write. Papa, the hole in the floor. Typewriter machine, boy. What for? Uncle Mingo the bandits. For a little boy. So he know about Uncle Mingo. Make him proud. No, no, not today, Papa. Today, no. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? I'm an old boy. Maybe I die any time, any minute. Look, Papa, please try to understand, huh? I just don't have the time. I have my own work to do. I've got a book to write. <coughs> Papa! Non sembra neanche mio figlio per quanto è cocciuto. Mr. Rocco! Your father said he's leaving. Leaving? Where's he going? Back home to Sacramento. Forget it. He won't go far. Papa! Miss Emily, hello? What are you doing here? Me and the kid. We don't get along. I go back to Sacramento. Did you quarrel? Nah, I am an old man. I don't change so easy. Him is young. He don't change at all. Did he tell you to leave? Nah. Papa, huh? we need you. We want you. What happened? I ever tell you the story about Uncle Mingo and the bandits? Uncle Mingo? Yeah. You mean the one with the red mm, hair? I ask the kid. I say write the story for my grandson. He won't do it. He'll do it. Uh, you leave it to me. Come uh, on, Papa. Let's go home. Papa? Uh, Look. Look what? A liquor store. Nah. Come on. Nah. The drinks are on Nick. All right, Papa. So Uncle Mingo came to the house and he was mad. Sure, he was mad. <laughs> Alfredo is as scared of Mingo. Mingo got him by the neck and he say, Alfredo, I break every bone in your body. Crack, crack. Uncle Mingo, what make you so strong? Olive oil, he says. <laughs> Great man, Mingo. Red hair. Big feet. Tile roof. You never got to the bandits. <laughs> What do you care? Make them up. I can't. It's impossible. Why? You're a writer. Invent them. Uh, what do I know about Italian bandits? Well, what's it to know? They're like any other bandits, only they eat pizza. I can't. I can't. I can't write it. You have to write it. I promised him. What's he got that I haven't got? <laughs> Snootful. His version. Good. Hey, 
tea up yet? He'll be down soon. He was working till nearly five this morning. This fellow Samantha, what do you say, Miss Hamill? Oh, it's a non-Aristotelian system of... It's a... Uh... You take this table. This table isn't solid. Termites? <laughs> no. Electrons. Little things that whirl around very fast so that they seem to be standing still. Like an electric fan. Appearances are very deceiving. For instance, who am I? <laughs> you Nick's wife. Yes, but I'm more than Nick's wife. I'm my mother's daughter. I'm my Uncle John's niece. I'm American. I'm female, a consumer. A doctor would say I'm a patient. The Bureau of Internal Revenue would say I'm a dependent. I'm a lot of things, more than just a wife. He's no good, this man. I don't like him. <sighs> of course he's good, because he tells me what I am, what I mean in the world. You? You are a woman, a creator. He tell you that? Not exactly. You and Nick, how long are you married? Six years. Where are the children? The children? Yes, the children. I look around this big house upstairs, downstairs, in all rooms. Where are the children? My grandson is coming. But his brothers and sisters, where are they? Papa, we had to wait. We couldn't afford it. They cost nothing. They come free from God. From God? Yes, from God. Books all over the house. The kid is right books too. But I don't see no Bible. On the walls, you got the pretty pictures. But I don't see the cross of the Savior. You don't want him in your house? What is gonna tell my grandson? He's gonna say, where I come from, Mama? He's gonna say, what am I doing here? He's gonna say, where am I going? You gonna show him this book? I don't know. I just don't know. But I think I'd like him to be like you. And smart like his mama. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here you are, Papa. Uncle Mingo and the bandits. You know, it turned out pretty funny. Save it for my grandson. Why aren't you going to read it? For what, kid? I was there. <laughs> I saw it. What do you want for breakfast, honey? You know, it turned out pretty good. Oh, fine. I'll read it later. Ham and eggs? No. I'm not hungry. Lamb chops? No, no, nothing at all. What's the matter? Nothing, nothing, Your Highness. It's just a mere trifle. What does that mean? Just this. You haven't read a single line of my work in weeks. Well, what of it? You used to. Every word. Well, I've been busy. I don't have time. Oh, you've been busy. I've been out there grinding away on that machine, and you've been busy. Morning. Morning. Who ordered this? I did. What for? For Papa. Everything's here except the Chianti you wanted, Mrs. Rocco. Didn't come in yet. No, Chianti? What kind of place you got, boy? Thank you. Look, now you listen to me. I work very hard for my money. I've been given an advance on a book and I'm almost broke. I can't afford your liquor bills. And I can't afford to be wasting my time running about your crazy relatives. You came down here to fix this hole in the floor. Well, fix it. Don't you talk to your father like that. Yeah, sure. All right, all right, just a minute. How do you do? I'm Father Gandolfo. How do you do, Father? Won't you come in? Thank you. Oh, Padre. Come sta, benvenuto. Buongiorno, buongiorno, eh? Buongiorno, buongiorno. Ah, sono questi i giovani dei quali mi ha parlato? Oh, sì, certamente. Father, I wish you to meet my daughter-in-law, Miss Emily. Ah. How do you do? 
Maria Teo. È stata la vera un bambino. È evidente. This fellow here is the boy. Abbiamo già... Oh, just... Check the priest's hand. Che cosa ne direbbe padre di un bicchierino? Eh, perché no? Un bicchierino non costituisce pe peccato. Oh, eh. Certamente no. Eh, please, one moment. Prego. Won't eh. you sit down, father? Thank you. Are you from around this neighborhood? Oh, yes. St. Monica's Parish. Uh, your next door neighbors go there. The Gregory's? I didn't know they were Catholics. Maybe that's because you don't go to church. <laughs> well, I, I was born a Catholic and raised a Catholic, and I just stopped going. I see. And you, Mrs. Rocco? Well, you see, I haven't been anything exactly. Eccomi qua, padre. Un buon bicchierino fa sempre bene, eh? Grazie, grazie. A lei. Ah, Galeano, Autentico, eh? alla salute. Salute. Permesso, eh? Tell me, Mr. Rocco, why don't you go to church anymore? Well, I don't know. Lots of things. I've changed. My thinking has changed. The church never changes. Seems to me that should be one of its great attractions. Well, the world has changed too, Father. I wonder. Oh, we have atomic energy and the hydrogen bomb. But mankind, the same. What's the matter? You wanna die like a dog and go to hell? Father, you talk to Miss Emily. She's a smart girl. Come on, kid, come on. Look, Father, why don't you mind your own business, huh? Maybe she doesn't want to talk to him. Oh, I mean... It's true, and she doesn't oh, have no. to, of course. Mrs. Rocco, I didn't come here to convert anyone. Oh, I understand. I came because your father-in-law... Well, what are you trying to do, huh? Why don't you just leave us alone? Honey, why don't can... you go fight outside? I do want to talk to the father. <laughs> Well, before you begin, Mrs. Rocco, I, I must explain that your father-in-law oh, passed by the church yesterday. <laughs> Papa, what am I going to do with you, huh? I've changed, Papa. I'm a married man. I'm not that 14-year-old kid you wanted to turn into a stonemason. <laughs> You're no good for stonemason, kid. You'll never make it. <laughs> Look, Papa, I want to be what I am, huh? Think my own thoughts, live my own life. Emily wants it that way, too. Emily? Well, maybe she, uh, she doesn't want to go in the church. <laughs> Why not? Well, maybe we'd like to plan our family. Then plan it to get going, babies. <laughs> babies, sure, babies, lots of babies. But I want them when I want them. Papa, there's no birth control in the church. Birth control? Well, we got to draw the line someplace. I don't like that kind of talk. But... All right, suppose they come, huh? And I don't have the money. Money? Yeah. What's money? Me and Mama, we had five and never enough money. Got out reading them books. Books? What books? Hmm. I can't support too many, that's all. Not my grandchildren. Understand? Leave them alone. They got as much right here as you. Hey, kid. Huh? Aphis. Aphis? Yeah. Don't you in. Well, I did, too. I was very glad you came over. Oh, Bye. <laughs> nice meeting you. Yeah, Nick, is it? Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Arrivederci. Ne parleremo. Goodbye. See you later. Go ahead, Salam. Papa? Yeah? I'd like to talk to you. All right. Come on in. Sit down, Papa. I want you to try to understand what I'm going to tell you. Excuse me. You want me to stay? Go? What? Sit down. Yes, ma'am. Papa, I want you to try to understand what, I, what I'm going to say to you. It isn't easy to say. I can't become a Catholic just because you want me to. It wouldn't be fair to me or to the church. You asked me a question before. You said you don't want God in your house. I do. I, I want God in my house and I want him for my child. But it took years to make me what I am today, whatever that is. And I can't change overnight. You don't like the Pope? <laughs> sure, I like the Pope. I don't mean that. 
I mean, people can't change so quickly. It's not the way you change the brand of cigarettes that you smoke. It's a big step. It takes time. It takes thinking out. Not too much time left. Pretty soon the baby comes and you ain't married. Oh, the marriage. Father Gandalfo said that could be arranged. Hmm? A wedding in the church? A quiet wedding in the rectory. That's fine. Let's go. Go? Where? <laughs> You're gonna get married, right? Well, that's up to my husband. Uh, well, kid. Oh, now, wait a minute, honey. A marriage in the church is a sacrament. You, you have to be in a state of grace. I mean, I'd have to go to confession. No. No. You better confess, kid. All the trouble you make for everybody. You better go. <laughs> Capisco che è tuo marito, ma lui è un grande peccatore, ha bisogno di essere assolto. Mamma mia, che razza di figlio messo al mondo io. Hey. Hi. What's the matter? I don't know, I got a headache. Papa? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. First, I feel good about it. And then I feel like I'm being pushed, and I don't like the feeling. It's no good, no good at all. It's... It's very hard, very hard. Go on. I, I used to love the church. I was an altar boy. Then Papa he punished me if I stayed away. I don't like being forced into anything. Let me ask you something. Supposing it wasn't Papa that had this idea? Oh, then it'd be easy. It'd be my idea. Honey, do you remember we had a talk about kids growing up, rebelling against parental authority? Wasn't it the same thing? <laughs> when you left the church, you didn't make a profound intellectual decision to leave the church. You left the church because Papa wanted you to stay. But you've grown up now. <laughs> You're capable of making an intelligent decision. And if what you want to do happens to coincide with what Papa wants you to do, why should it make any difference? It's you. It's what you want. What do you want? I, I haven't been a confession in seven years. Poco il solito ti sento addosso, non puoi resistere, io più non posso, dell'età vecchia, per dei malati. The kid should be here to man job. Oh, he had to go to San Pedro, something about ships for the book. <laughs> he's a good boy and good writer. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so happy when he finds out you started on the floor. Ah, it's a nothing. You're very great. Nah, 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 it's a nothing. Tonight you write a letter to Mama. You tell her, Papa take care of everything. Laugh. <laughs> it's too small. Need a big hammer. Nick Rocco? Yeah. Sign here. Hi, Nick. Hi, John. 
So he finally got started, eh? Yeah. At last. Well, how'd you talk him into it? I didn't. Took an act of God. Well, what are the uh, brick and stone for? Huh? The brick and stone. Well, I guess he's going to use it, and uh, I suppose he's... I don't know. Nick! Come here! You'll never guess what we're doing. Wait a minute. Close your eyes. Come on. Open them. What happened? It's a fireplace! Look out there! <laughs> The carpenter kid. Miss Henry, Marmar. Okay, Papa, coming up. Emily, are you sure you should be doing this? Oh, sure. Well, what's the matter with Nick? Why doesn't he help? Nick's trying to earn enough money to pay for that goo. And a baby, if we're lucky enough to have one. How many times do I have to tell you, let Papa do this? Oh, it's fun. Anyway, I feel fine. And do you know what Papa's mama did in the old country? Never mind Papa's mama. I just had a session with his Uncle Mingo. Marmar! Ah, keep your shirt on. Vedi non è lontano, andiamo a me mi oda qui. Piano, eh? Andiamo, andiamo, mio bene. A ristorar le pene d'un innocente amor. Come on, kid. Hurry up. Be careful. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Yeah, but but shallow. Not not deep. Like that? Yeah. Have a nice place like this, and you'll have the most amazing one I've ever seen. By the authority committed to me, I pronounce you united in the bonds of matrimony. Now repeat after me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And I pledge unto you my fidelity. And I pledge unto you my fidelity. Ever mindful of the duties which you owe to each other and to those with whose welfare you may be especially charged, cherish with solicitude the grace that has this day been conferred upon you. It will direct you in every difficulty. It will comfort you in the hour of trial. It will be a continuous source of peace, of joy, and mutual affection on earth, and a pledge of your eternal and perfect union in heaven. Amen. My dear, I hope you'll be very happy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Have you seen it? 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 Have don't worry, Miss Emily. Everything's all right. Be calm. Get to go, you kid. The baby's coming. It may not look at sisters, but that marriage was made in heaven. Get a car, kid. Huh? Go park at a car. But how am I? 
me know the moment Dr. Schuller comes in. I will, sister. My name's Rocco. Where's my wife? Oh, Mr. Rocco, I thought the old gentleman... He had nothing to do with it. Where is she? She went with the doctor. He make me wait oh, here. There she is. Huh? I still feel like an idiot. Oh, don't be embarrassed. Well, what? False alarm. Oh. Well, it's just a dress rehearsal. <laughs> Come back in about a week, Mrs. Rocco. Is everything else okay, Doc? I mean, uh, otherwise? Indigestion. Give her a little bicarbonate. I'm sorry, Papa. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, Doc. So long. Goodbye, Doc. dollars for a set of andines. I wish you'd try to hold it down. We're almost broke. You're beautiful. You're the most beautiful man in the world, and I love you. And you won't be jealous, will you? Of the baby? <laughs> a little, I guess. And don't get excited. But it's time. Better call the doctor. I did already. Let's go. Will you get my things? Yeah. Is it bad? Oh, it hurts, but it's nothing like what my mother said. Okay. Sleep. Honey, how close together are they? An hour ago, they were about 15 minutes apart, and now they're quite a bit closer together. Yeah. You go get, well, get the, the car. car. She's pregnant. Should I put that down? Yes, just put that down. Excuse me. Of course. I love you. That's my husband. Isn't he adorable? Rocco, you can see your wife now. Mr. Rocco, here. It's nothing. Look, Doc, she's in very bad she's shape. coming along beautifully. I'm telling you, she's suffering. Nonsense. She's had scopolamine. She won't remember a thing. Go get yourself a good drink. Uh, where's the 
chapel. What? The chapel, the place where a man can... You, you, there must be a chapel in here. Down on the first floor, sir. Thanks. Somebody died? Papa. Who? Uncle Mingo and the bandits. It's been sold, sad evening post. Five thousand bucks, Mom! But, me. but who sent the story to them? Miss Emily, who else? Oh, Papa. <laughs> Got it out, kid. He's got red hair. Like Uncle Mingo. And his feet are big. <laughs> That's Uncle Mingo, all right. <laughs> the same man. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you say? Hey. <laughs> Where are you going? Go <laughs> on the bell. <laughs> <laughs> and now I build a little one. A little what, Papa? Yeah, a little one hops there. A little fireplace so big for my grandson. Oh, no, Papa, you're going back home tonight on a 7 o'clock train, you understand? But I ain't finished. Lots of work. Who fixed the floor? I'll get the floor fixed. I got the money now. You? I want you to go back home to Sacramento and take care of Mama. Mm -hmm. After all, we're both family men now, huh? We have to take care of the people we love and who love us. Gabito. Yeah, I'll Gabito, please. And Papa, those two acres. Yeah. Tell Joe Muto I'm going to send him a little under Papa. Pa, you don't worry, kid. Joe is my paisano. He don't sell to nobody but me. <laughs> Thank you, too. This is where you live. I would like your house. Semily? She's a good house. Oh, she's a no plum. The floor, she's sag a three inch. Big fireplace. Yes, a plenty room for Santa Claus. Oh, Mrs. Rocco. Oh, my gracious. Let me take this. 